How much money do you need to start a business? How to calculate it? Today we will answer these simple questions. We are business planners so we can help you with your business plan and financial model in Excel. Subscribe for more videos. Please like and share to help the channel grow. To answer these questions we need a cash flow statement. Generally speaking, it's impossible to calculate the amount of financing of a startup without cash flow statement being done. So, what do you need? You need revenue, payroll, fixed costs, direct costs, taxes. Then, you calculate the result from operating activity. It's revenue minus payroll minus fixed costs minus direct costs minus taxes. Here you have your investment with minus sign. Then you have a line with your money. If you want to get a loan, you put it here. When you take a loan, your loan interest payments and body of the loan payments will be placed here. Then you calculate the result from financial activity. It's your money plus taking a loan minus loan interest payments and minus body of the loan payments. Then you have cash balance at the beginning of a period. In the first month it's zero. On the next month it's a cash balance at the end of the previous month. Then you have a line with cash balance at the end of a period. It's cash flow from operating activity plus cash flow from investing activity plus cash flow from financing activity plus cash balance at the beginning of a period. Now you are ready for calculating the amount of financing needed for your business idea. So what is the rule? The rule is very simple. Cash balance at the end of a period must always be positive or zero during all timeline of the project. If it's negative, this means you don't have enough money to finance your business idea. First, you look at February 2021. Here you see minus. You finance it from your own money. You put your money here. Then you look at March 2021. Here is minus 2. You do the same action. In April you have minus again. Let's take a loan. After doing this, you see negative figures because of loan payments and operational losses. What can you do now? You can find a maximum negative figure in this line and enter this figure with an opposite sign. Now you don't have negative figures during all the timeline of cash flow statement. This means you found the real amount of financing needed for your business idea. You can go to the end of timeline to see the total of your money needed and total loan needed. Then you can add loan total to your money total and see the final amount of financing needed for your business idea. If this video was useful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Should you choose to take action in your startup, we can help you with business planning and financial modeling. Let's test your business idea. Stay tuned and bye-bye.